Can you add a video or picture overlay in Windows Live Movie Maker? No, but in a previous video I showed you an alternative way of doing this using Windows Live Movie Maker and another free Microsoft program called Expressions Encoder. The video was obviously a huge help to many video creators who don't know how to use or simply can't afford higher end programs like Adobe Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas. But a lot of those creators had one more question. Can you add multiple visual overlays using this alternative method? Well, there's bad news and there's good news. Bad news is that the answer to this question is also no. Unfortunately, you can only add one visual overlay on one expression encoder project. But the good news is that using simple logic, we can come up with another alternative that will help us get the desired result and therefore add multiple visual overlays to a particular video using only Microsoft Expressions Encoder and Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, in this video, we're not going to waste time explaining the basics like importing videos, exporting videos, and adding and manipulating overlays in Expressions Encoder, as all that was explained in the previous tutorial. So if you still don't know how to do this, please click on the annotation to watch that particular video and then return to this one to see how to get the multiple overlay effect. So let's get started. First, let's see an example of the problem that we're trying to solve. Here we have a typical project in Expressions Encoder. The blue layer represents our main video, while the green one represents our overlay. The overlay is positioned to this particular place on the timeline, and it lasts as much as it lasts. Great! But what if we want to put another overlay on the same main video layer? In this case, it's impossible, because you can only use one overlay per project. But logically, we can cut the main video layer in a few separate parts, edit them separately, and then merge them later on in Windows Live Movie Maker. Let me show you. So right here I have a sample video that I'm using for the purposes of this tutorial, and I want to use three different visual overlays on three different parts of the video. So I want one overlay to be somewhere right after the beginning of the video, I want the second overlay to be somewhere in the middle of the video, and I want the third overlay to be just before the end of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the slide bar and the cutting tool in order to separate those three parts that are going to contain different visual overlays. So this is going to be the first part. I'm going to drag the slide bar where I want it to end and then I'm going to click here. The second part is going to start from that point up to this point and automatically this is our last part. So one visual overlay is going to be in this section. The other is going to be in a particular spot in this second section or the middle section. And the last visual overlay is going to be placed somewhere in this last section. Now, after you've splitted your video, you want to go down here and click on media content. Now, if you don't see media content here, make sure to watch the first video because all of that is explained in the first video. All of those little technical things that may be a difficulty, I really don't want to waste time explaining them again as they are all worked out in the first video. So you're going to click on media content and this is going to be the video that you're working on. So what you want to do is you want to right click on it and you want to click on duplicate and you want to duplicate it for every single part that you just split it so we have three parts so we need three here so one two and we're going to duplicate it one more time to get three parts now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the first one we're going to click on enhance and we're just going to leave the first part which is going to contain one visual overlay we're going to get rid of the middle part and the last part. So select the middle part, right click, remove clip. Select the last part, right click, remove clip. So right here, we're only left with the first part. Now we're going to go back here down to media content. And now we're going to click on the second one. I'm going to go to enhance so we can see our timeline again. Now we're going to get rid of the first one. So select it, 
click remove clip and then we're gonna get rid of the last one select it right click remove clip you're probably getting the hang of it go back down to media content click on the last one click on enhance so that we can see our timeline again and now we're only gonna leave the third part so we're gonna delete the first one and we're gonna delete the second one remove so now if you go back down to media content the first one is containing only the first part of the video the second one is containing the middle part of the video or the second part and the third part is containing the last part of the video so each of these are going to contain a different visual overlay so for the first part we're gonna click on it and we're gonna go to enhance go down here and click on visual overlay add overlay and then simply browse for the overlay that you want to add on that particular part of the video click on open and now once the overlay is added you can reposition it on the video you can scale it down change the duration of the overlay and of course you can make it to fade in and fade out but we're not going to waste time explaining that as the, all of that is already explained in the first video so we've added our first overlay to the first part now we're going to go down to media content and click on the second part now somewhere in the second part that we've splitted we're going to place our second visual overlay so we're going to click on enhance click add overlay browse for the overlay that you want to add open it and again position it scale it manipulate it any way you want and after you're done we're going to go back down on media content and click on the last one this is the part that's going to contain our last and final overlay so we're gonna click on it go to enhance visual overlay add overlay and we're gonna find our final overlay and we're gonna add it in there again you can manipulate it any way you want reposition it scale it and make it start wherever you want and make it finish wherever you want now once you're finished you're gonna go down to media content again click on the first one encoding quality best quality apply go back down to media content now click on the second one again choose best quality and apply and do the same for the last part select it go to encoding quality best quality apply and finally go back down to media content one more time and click encode now once the encoding is finished you will have three separate video files with three different visual overlays so now what you want to do is you want to open up Windows Live Movie Maker now you want to click on add videos or photos and you want to browse for the location where Microsoft Expression Encoder uh, saves the videos that you encode using that program so by default they're stored in documents expression expression encoder output and then you're gonna have a folder with the date and here they are you simply want to select all of them and click open and as you can see now they're imported but they're not in the correct order so we want to put three on the end and we want to put the first one on the beginning and now it's in correct order now if you want you can do some editing here now all that's left is to save your video and you can do that by using one of the presets the high definition preset should store your video in 1080p quality now even after all of this you still might be asking yourself what if I want to use two overlays that are showing at the same time and on the exact same spot on the video well that's really easy all you have to do is add your first overlay using the same methods that we showed earlier then you have to export that 
and then go to file import and then browse for that video open it now here it is with the first overlay and then simply add the second one by clicking on add overlay browse for the overlay add it and manipulate it any way you'd like once you're finished go to presets encoding quality best quality apply it's the same procedure go down to media content make sure it's selected and then hit encode now have in mind that you will probably lose some quality but that's just the price you have to pay for rendering video clips for more than one time if you follow these instructions you should be able to get 1080p HD quality but that will always depend on the quality of the video that you initially recorded now you might say that's a whole lot of work for the minimal effect and you'd probably be right but like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's just an alternative for creators who don't know how to use or simply can't afford programs like Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, or other high-end video editing programs. With that said, I'd like to announce another tutorial in which I'll show you how you can use a very powerful editing program that you can get totally for free. And yes, it will allow you to use multiple overlays and a whole lot more. So, if you found this video helpful and you're looking forward to more similar content, be sure to subscribe. Of course, please like and share this video and comment with your questions and opinions as it does help me out a lot. So that's all for this time. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.